Keep calm and pray the Psalms. For Saturday, the last day of Rogate, is also Saturday in the octave of the Ascension. Season of Easter is a week of Sundays. And tomorrow is the seventh Sunday of Easter. After that comes the Feast of Pentecost, which we'll have much more to say as we get into next week. But this coming Sunday, we will have divine service. We are still in the afterglow of the Ascension, that wonderful truth that Jesus, in his flesh and blood, is in heaven and is with us. Indeed, he has not left us orphans. And in that we exalt. Which is why the Sunday, the seventh Sunday of Easter is called Exaude. Which is a funny word for rejoicing, being joyful. For Christ is risen, alleluia. He is risen indeed, alleluia. And this is the day that the Lord has made. So let us rejoice and be glad in it. The rising of the sun to its setting. The name of the Lord is to be praised. Our psalm for the last, last psalm of the week of Rogate is Psalm 50. The Mighty One, God the Lord, speaks and summons the earth and the rising of the sun to its setting. Out of Zion, the perfection of its beauty, God shines forth. Our God comes. He does not keep silence. Before him is a devouring fire, around him a mighty tempest. He calls to the heavens above and to the earth that he might judge his people. Gather to me, my faithful ones, who made a covenant with me by sacrifice. The heavens declare his righteousness, for God himself is judge. Hear, O my people, and I will speak, O Israel, and I will testify against you. I am God, your God. Not for your sacrifices do I rebuke you, for your burnt offerings are continually before me. I will not accept a bull from your house or goats from your foals. For every beast of the forest is mine, the cattle on a thousand hills. I know all the birds of the hills and all, the moves, all that moves in the fields is mine. If I were hungry, I would not tell you. For the world and its fullness are mine. Do I eat the flesh of bulls, or drink the blood of goats? Offer to God a sacrifice of thanksgiving, and perform your vows to the Most High. And call upon me in the day of trouble, and I will deliver you, and you shall glorify me. But to the wicked God says, What right? Have you to recite my statutes or take my covenant and your lips? For you hate discipline and you cast my words behind you. If you see a thief, you are pleased with him and you keep company with adulterers. You give your mouth free rein for evil and your tongue frames deceit. You sit and speak against your brother. You slander your own mother's son. These things you have done, and I have been silent. You thought that I was one like you, but now I rebuke you and lay a charge before you. Mark this then, you who forget God, lest I tear you apart and there be none to deliver. 
The one who offers thanksgiving as his sacrifice glorifies me. To the one who orders his way rightly, I will show the salvation of God. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. We speak the Catechism, the Ten Commandments, shall have no other gods. You shall not misuse the name of the Lord your God. Remember the Sabbath day by keeping it holy. Honor your father and your mother. You shall not murder. You shall not commit adultery. You shall not steal. You shall not give false testimony against your neighbor. You shall not covet your neighbor's house. You shall not covet your neighbor's wife, or as manservant or maidservant, as ox or donkey, or anything that belongs to your neighbor. The Apostles' Creed. I believe in God the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. The third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and sits at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From thence he shall come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Christian Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. O Lord, keep us in your kingdom and teach us to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. Let us pray. Almighty God, as your only begotten Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, ascended into heaven, so may we also ascend in heart and mind and continually dwell with him there, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Luther's Evening Prayer I thank you, my Heavenly Father, through Jesus Christ, your dear Son, that you have graciously kept me this day. And I pray that you would forgive me all my sins where I have done wrong, and graciously keep me this night. For into your hands I commend myself, my body and soul, and all things. Let your holy angel be with me, that the evil foe may have no power over me. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord bless thee and keep thee. The Lord make his face to shine upon thee and be gracious unto thee. The Lord lift up his countenance upon thee and give thee peace. Amen. Christ is risen, alleluia. He is risen indeed, alleluia. You have a good night. <laughs>